Hello everybody, today we're going to take a look at the new bi-directional Monero Atomic Swap functionality recently introduced by our latest update with a quick demo. This new functionality fixes a long-standing issue with the Bitcoin to Monero Atomic Swap protocol initially developed by Joel Gugger, otherwise known as Hashed, in which swap offers did not allow Monero to be the coin being offered. Indeed, due to technical limitations on Monero's side, it was only possible to offer Bitcoin and request Monero, not the other way around. This proved to be a major obstacle for Monero-friendly decentralized trading exchanges to take off. But we're happy to announce that our solution is now available on Basic Swap and that you can now place offers either offering or requesting Monero on its order book without any extra step or requirement on the user side. So the first thing that we'll do before swapping is go over our wallets page and take notice of our current Bitcoin and Monero balances. Offering Bitcoin in exchange for Monero was already possible on Basic Swap and other Monero friendly DEXs. If you want to see that process play out, head over to our YouTube channel and, under the Basic Swap playlist, look for the video titled Trade Anonymously without fees with Basic Swap DEX. To see the new Monero bidirectional swaps in action, we'll first publish a new offer on the order book. This time, however, instead of requesting Monero, we'll be requesting Bitcoin, meaning that we'll be offering Monero. The process of doing just that is really not different than doing it the traditional way. What we need to do is go over here to place a new offer. That will bring the new offer page of basic swap, and that's where we set up our offer parameters as per usual. In our case, we want to place the offer on the public order books, so we select public network. And since we're swapping Monero for Bitcoin, we need to select that adapter signature swap protocol and then select our coins here. Monero as the coin offered and Bitcoin as the one being requested. For this example, we want to swap about 0.5 Monero. To know how much Bitcoin we'd like to receive in return, we can either check the current price table or click on the JSON rate button, which will give us the current market price rate as shown on CoinGecko. We can copy this value, paste it in the rate text box, and when clicking out of the box, the number of Bitcoin to receive in exchange for our Monero will be automatically calculated. Of course, you can put any amount you want and swap at whatever rate you prefer, so let's adjust the amount of Bitcoin here as such. Then, we can either select amount variable or rate variable. Here, we'll select amount variable so that we can receive and accept bids with different amounts being offered. Leaving rate variable unchecked ensures that whatever amount is being offered to us is always at the exact rate we've just set up previously. On the second page, we can select the fee targets we'd like to use, which can help transactions go faster throughout the swap, but we'll leave that at default for this demo. We'll put the offer for 48 hours, meaning it will remain on the order book for 48 hours and the contract's expiry timer at 6 hours, meaning that the swap will be considered as having failed after 6 hours, after which both participants will be refunded their coins. Note that offers can be put on the order book for a maximum of 48 hours, after which you'll have to republish them. That's because this is the maximum of time an SMSG message can remain free. However, you can head over to our YouTube channel and take a look at our tutorial on how to set up a cloud instance of basic swap and run a companion market making script that can keep your offers on the order book with automatic rate and spread adjustments in perpetuity. And then we select whether we want our offer to automatically accept bids or not. We'll keep it at none for this example. And on the third page, we are prompted to verify our offer details and confirm before it is published. So here we can do just that. When ready, simply click on Confirm Offer and that will populate Basic Swap's order book with your Monero offer. Let's now navigate to the order book and confirm visually that our offer has indeed been published. Here, we see our fresh offer in which we are requesting Bitcoin for Monero, a feat not possible before our latest update. All we need to do now, since we haven't enabled automatic bid acceptance, is to wait for someone to bid on our offer and accept it. As we now see, someone has placed a bid on our offer. This is shown by the new notification next to the Bids Received tab. We can then open the page to see our bids, and by looking at the date we can indeed confirm the reception of a brand new bid on our Monero offer. Clicking on details brings us to the bids information page, and we can review its details to ensure that the amounts offered are to our satisfaction. If the bid is to your liking and want to initiate the swap, simply scroll down and click on that blue button. 
Now we see that the bid has been accepted and we're once again on the bid page. The bid state now shows that the request has been accepted. That's because this new basic swap update fixes the unidirectional limitation of the Bitcoin to Monero protocol by adding a new step to the process. Remember how, with traditional Bitcoin to Monero swaps, a bid could only offer Bitcoin in exchange for Monero. That is still the case. However, the new update prompts, in the background, the other peer to create a bid, which is then automatically accepted by you. In essence, the protocol remains unchanged, but we've leveraged the power of basic swaps SMSG network to add a new step to the process. But don't worry, this new step is completely automated for both users, resulting in a seamless user experience that doesn't require any extra step or requirement. And so, now that our swap request has been automatically accepted by the other peer, all we need to do is wait for the swap to begin. We can take a look at this by navigating to the swaps in progress tab and wait for the swap show up. And it just did. At this point, you may want to monitor the swap's progress, but really, you can just let it run its course as you don't need to do anything anymore. By clicking on the swap's bid ID, we are brought back to its bid information page and will be able to see the steps go through by checking out the old states section. However, for the purpose of this video, we'll simply fast forward until the end of the swap. If you want to see the whole process in action, simply head over to our YouTube channel and navigate to our basic swap playlist. In there, look for a video titled Trade Anonymously Without Fees with Basic Swap Dex. Basic Swap now tells us that the swap has completed, meaning we've essentially offered Monero for Bitcoin and successfully completed that request. Just to make sure that the swap has indeed completed correctly, and in reality, there should never be any issue with that due to the atomic swap technology in use, we can head over to the wallets section. Take note that you may need to hit the refresh button for the amounts to update, just like that. And now you see that our Monero has been exchanged for Bitcoin, confirming the success of this new groundbreaking bidirectional functionality update. That concludes this quick demonstration of our latest basic swap update, which we hope you will like. Of course, there are still a lot to be done before Monero friendly decentralized trading exchanges can be considered a viable alternative to centralized exchanges and we're steadfast focused on making that a reality. This is why our current efforts now lie with building a web framework to enable basic swap powered services to web platforms, third-party applications, and other crypto services. This will be yet another major contribution in making Monero atomic swaps not only easy to use, but also quickly accessible to anyone with a web browser. For this, we hope to see you join us along the ride as we strive to build an interconnected, privacy first and pro-liberty economy with privacy coins at its very heart. If you like what we do, then we invite you to join our community at Particle and subscribe to our YouTube channel. But most importantly, we encourage you to provide liquidity to basic swaps order books so that as many people as possible can enjoy the benefits of a privacy first, pro-liberty decentralized trading platform open to all.